guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Celia, and today I'm doing a Depop haul because I've done a lot of shopping on Depop. I am fairly new to it. I'm a couple months in now, and I just, I love everything to do with Depop. I love little shops. I love unique things, and I also like buying the clothes secondhand because one, it's cheaper, two, it's more sustainable that way. So I wanted to show you guys some new stuff I picked up for fall. So I'm actually wearing the first thing I got. This is just one piece of it. And it came with this little cardigan. So it's like a two piece set, which I really, I think these are super cool for fall, especially when um, it's the transition period from like summer to fall. So you can wear it just as this little crop top, which I think is really cute. And it has three buttons and then a bunch of buttons. They can also list everything in the description box, but that's how this looks. And then, but it feels super nice. And you can also mismatch it with a lot of different things. So this is the first piece. This is the newest thing besides the cardigan. So this might be the dopest thing I've found on Depop so far. I love Chrome Hearts. I think they're super cool. I think the aesthetic is super dope. Like it's ridiculously priced and so I found this when I searched up Chrome Hearts I never really do but I was just kind of wanted to check out the brand see if people had handmade stuff so I found this girl who hand makes these tops this is like insane like this is super cool so she must have already had this top it's a sleeveless halter I'd asked if she could make long sleeves but she didn't have any long sleeves on her because I was thinking for fall it'd be more useful but this is the sleeveless look is also super dope so it's this cream turtleneck sleeveless top and it has the chrome hearts symbols and it's almost like a denim fabric and it's distressed looking like it's supposed to be messy so that's why it looks really cool and then the back is a bigger cross so i have yet to try this on so i'll definitely try it on for you guys this i think was only 25 which for a handmade item that's honestly super cool it's not bad at all so this girl was selling this little handbag I wanted a new shoulder bag because I have a black one but I only have a black one I wanted to add a new one so Frankie Collective does stuff like this where they rework bootleg designer and two little shoulder bags so I picked this one up she was trying to say it like retail for 230 but on Frankie Collective that Louis Vuitton one they were doing was 150 so I got her down to 100 for this which I still think is kind of a lot because it does look a bit used but I think it's going to be cool in pictures the only thing I wish was that it was like bigger so that it could fit like this because it it can but it's not the most practical like yes it'll look super cute in pictures but it is tiny so just a fair warning if you are looking at the ones on Frankie Collective website but I mean I think it's super cute still it's just it is kind of tiny this isn't Depop this is from Grailed which is more directed to a male audience group but I if you like streetwear if you like sportswear brands any of that stuff if you're a sneakerhead if you're into anything that sort of stuff Grailed is super dope for that and I found this little vintage Nike pull up, pullover. So it's a quarter zip. This was, I think, $100. But at first it was like $170 or something. It was like ridiculous. It's a size large. And then it has the swoosh in the back. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's like the nicest little comfy pullover. It's perfectly sized. If it was any smaller, it would be too small. I am like obsessed with it. So definitely check out Grilled if you're looking for anything like this. This is something new too that I have yet to wear, but I need to get out and take a picture in it because I'm obsessed. I'm thinking on Monday, I'm gonna take a cute little pic in this. So it's this Ford racing jacket. These are like huge now, which I think is cool. It says NASCAR on the back and it's just blue and black because I liked the colorway of this one more. They had a bunch of like the red and stuff, but I don't really wear red and I think this is more subdued of the trend. But yeah, it's not super out there. It's 
like that nylon almost material, like a winter jacket. It's not like the hard um, jackets, almost like the Carhartt type. This is more so like a nice breezy winter jacket. And I just think it's super cool. It looks super dope on and it's not too out there. It's just enough, especially with like a cool high pony or something. It's gonna look super cool. Thank you.